five years. Um, my average score is around low to mid 70s. Um, pros is that I can hit pretty far. And um, cons is that I'm not very accurate or consistent. Uh, what I want to improve is to um, get more accuracy and consistency with my driver. That's it. Hi, this is Rina. Uh, Rina is probably one of my oldest students I had as a junior. And I met her probably about four years ago, three, four, three years ago. And she was always, her size was always small. So one thing I always try to promote in her swing was we were more active with her lower body and a little bit bigger backswing to create that extra distance to cover her size. Her size. But late, lately, she's been getting the distance, but we were trying to lose more accuracy. So today, I'm gonna show her and show you guys how you can still maintain that full speed with her smaller size and try to create that little accuracy. Okay? So, you know, let's see her swing. So what Nina does, one of the reasons why she hits the ball so far for her size is she has a little bit, she kind of stands a little far, further away from the ball and she's trying to promote everything so to create a big arm. So for her size, if you take a look, she has, she has a wider, wide set for her size, and she stands kind of far away from the ball. And if you look, take a look right here, she has a really wide takeaway. I mean, she has a huge takeaway. And her back swing, we just go a little past the parallel, but still good. And then coming down, she maintains huge lag. So you see this, guys? She creates so much lag for her size. What she does is, right here, watch this. <coughs> She's taking a wide takeaway, wide takeaway, and then she creates a huge lag. Creates that, she, what she, so she can flex that shaft. Okay? Watch this. And coming down. She maintains that shaft angle. For her size, that's incredible. I mean, not many girls could do it, but she's only 13 years old, five feet tall, and she's maintaining that huge lag coming down. So right there, she's still maintaining that 90 degree angle coming down. And she's hitting up on the ball with low spin. So her mechanic, so since the first time I met her, everything we're trying to do is promote that extra speed for her side. She's pretty, she's got wide takeaway, huge legs, and she's hitting straight up on the ball, the path, and attacking. Okay, and then she has a beautiful fall through. And for her side, she gives a perfect balance spin. Okay, so we know this one, I'm just gonna, so we did launch it 17 degrees, we could actually, we'll actually put my spin on the ball. This one, we're just gonna, we are gonna make it everything same, but we're gonna try to stay more on top of it, okay? To create, take the spin out. Nice. Very good. So if you can see it right there, the spin rate went down about 200 RPM. Only strictly because she was more on top of the ball. She cut the, cook, the ball a little bit more higher on the club face. Then when she kind of fell back a little bit, cut the lower club face. So Rina, for her size right now, she's competing with a lot of girls that's older than her because she's at the highest level already. She's competing with high school girls. So the way I train her, the way we train is, is strictly for power so she can compete with the bigger girls. Um, one question I have is whenever I get to like the last couple holes, I start to lose power and um, consistency and focus. Um, how do I hit it more straight and accurate versus um, last couple holes instead of messing up? 
Very good question. So I get asked this a lot from my junior students and even some amateurs. Tell me, it's it's the energy level. So that if you when you're playing 18 holes, you're out there for six five hours. And you're walking and you're eating a lot of golf shots. So that's why if you see the pros, they eat every three holes. And they drink lots of water. So a lot of the young kids, they play tournament, they get nervous, they stop eating. So. I tell all my students, I just say, hey, don't forget, every three holes, try to put something in your mouth, protein bars, banana, you know, apples, they're all good, anything energy level, try to eat it every three holes, drink lots of water, stay hydrated, so you can maintain that energy level to 18 holes.